through the mystic eye eminent personalities from various walks of life in conversation with Sadhguru. This week features world renowned Pandit Jasraj in a rare exchange with Sadhguru, exploring the depths of Indian classical music. Pandit Jasraj's rich, soulful voice has touched the hearts of thousands of music lovers around the world. Known for his unique ability to effortlessly glide over three and a half octaves, Panditji's rich compositions and unique Chasrangi Jugalbandi are one of his many contributions to Hindustani music. Awarded the Padma Vibhushan in 2000 and the Sangeet Natak Academy Ratna in 2010, Panditji has founded the Pandit Jasraj Institute of Music to offer this art form to many more. Watch as the maestro and mystic together unveil the profound intricacies of Indian classical music and their innate connection to the human system. शास्त्रीय संगीत से भगवान के दर्शन तो हो सकते हैं। हर भक्त गाता है, हर भक्त गाया है, मीरा ने गाया है, तू काराम ने गाया है, मतलब सूरदास ने गाया है। हमारा शास्त्रीय संगीत तो आराम से भगवान तक ले जाता है क्योंकि ये वेरी शॉर्टकट रूट है। और इसमें अगर आपकी कुछ योग शक्ति आपकी मिल जाए तो अद्वितीय हो जाती है उसकी डबल शक्ति हो जाती है See, when I was young when you are young naturally your body is dominant you know so though my parents are steeped in classical music we completely hate it we can't stand it we are into western music okay <laughs> we just not one time have I ever heard it, if they switch it on, I will go. <laughs> but the moment I started meditating, suddenly the classical music just became suddenly music for me. What I could not stand, the moment I became quiet, immediately I want to listen to this. It just changed my whole perspective of the sound. Because I became silent within myself, suddenly the Indian classical music became so important for me. And wherever it is, I'm just almost like a beggar, I'm going there to listen. Madurai Mani Ayer is my father's favorite voice. If they turn on Madurai Mani Ayer, me and my brother will run away somewhere <laughs> But once I started meditating, there was no way, this is the only thing I could listen to. All the other music just fell apart in my mind. So the connection between the right utterances of sound and meditation is so… so right there. Baba Ji ne khud siddh kar diya ke mai pahle I was addicted to western music and jab mai ne dhyan karna shuru kiya, yoga karna shuru kiya to mujhe mai pata nahi kab apne bharatiya sangeet mein chala aya. To ye to pakka bata diya ke bharatiya sangeet is the मेन संगीत है दुनिया का कि जो आपको ऊपर उठाता है किसी ने मुझको कि ये कहा कि आप कैसे डिसाइड करते हैं कि राग का टाइम ये है बहुत साधारण बात है अगर आप थोड़ा सा माइनूटली ध्यान करें तो हवा में वो स्वर घूमते हैं जो हमें राग गाना है जिसको गाना चाहिए रादर गाना है नहीं गाना चाहिए वो आपको स्वर हवा में सुन सुनने को आते हैं हर एक राग की श्रुति जो है अपने आप बनती है जिसको अच्छी सही सही तालीम है उसको सही अपने आप बनती है उसको सोचना या कहना नहीं पड़ेगा कि भाई ये देखिए मैं ये श्रुति गा रहा हूँ अगर उसने कहा कि मैं ये श्रुति गा रहा हूँ तो वहीं खंडित मतलब ध्यान खंडित होके और वो श्रुति यूँ यूँ ही हो जाएगी हमारा शास्त्रीय संगीत तो आराम से भगवान तक ले जाता है क्योंकि ये वेरी शॉर्टकट रूट है और इसमें अगर आपकी कुछ योग शक्ति आपकी मिल जाए तो अद्वितीय हो जाती है उसकी डबल शक्ति हो जाती है आपको रॉकेट में बैठा के ले जाएगा फ्रॉम नॉन एग्जिस्टेंस टू एग्जिस्टेंस द फर्स्ट रिवर्बरेशन इट सेल्फ इज अ साउंड दिस इज नॉट समथिंग दैट ओनली वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इन द योगिक कल्चर दिस इज समथिंग दैट्स रिकोगनाइज एवरीवेयर वेल द बाइबल इट सेल्फ स्टार्ट ऑफ लाइक दिस फर्स्ट देर वॉज अ वर्ड एंड द वर्ड वॉज विद गॉड एंड द वर्ड इट सेल्फ इज गॉड Word is a human interpretation of a sound. 
right now I am only making sounds. You are making up the words because you assume you know English language. When he was talking, I am sure Elizabeth was sitting there and it was just pure sound for her <laughs> There were no words for her <laughs> You feel the words if you are chatty, all right? If you become very attentive, you will feel the sound. If you become absolutely still, then you won't even feel the sound. Everything will be just one pure silence. And everything plays on the surface but it's just there. Something else far bigger than the sound is just there. Now in the night if you look at… look up in the sky, you will see a whole cosmos out there, okay? Millions and millions of stars. But you see that only because your eyes are attuned in a certain way. But actually the largest presence out there is emptiness. It's the silence which rules the existence, nothingness which rules the existence. Sound and forms are a small happening. Today modern science goes about proving to you, I'm sure every musician feels it in some way. If you feed any sound in oscilloscope, which is a sound measuring instrument, depending upon its frequency, amplitude and other dimensions, it gives out a form. This is how the whole science of what is referred to as mantra, yantra, tantra has been developed. Mantra is a sound, a pure sound is mantra. A lot of uh, the music that they're doing is pure mantra, no… no meaning, it's just sound. If you utter a sound, it gives out a form naturally. So if you observe carefully enough, every form is throwing out a certain sound. In this culture, based on this, we created language. Language is not something made up for the sake of communication. Language is like the blueprint of the existence that what kind of sound does this relate to? The corresponding sound is the name for this form. So if you master the sound, you have mastery over the form. So this whole science of wanting to use the sound as a passageway through the existence, music is a beautiful way of doing it. There are other hard ways of doing it, chanting. Chanting is a hard way of doing it, pure science. Music is a beautiful way of doing it. Sounds can be used for well-being, for health. Right now I don't know the names of the raga, I am completely ignorant of those things, but if he sings various ragas, I will tell you this raga, if you sing, your blood pressure will go down right now. And you can check it, one fifteen minutes raga, for the singer and the listener, your blood pressure will go down. These people are experiencing in a concert. They may not be medically, you know, uh, measuring it, but people are experiencing, they listen to something and they become like this. They listen to a certain sound and become loving, they listen to a certain sound and become joyful, they listen to a certain sound and become aggressive. This is happening, isn't it? <laughs> this is happening, isn't it so? Sounds are creating not only emotions, they also are changing the very chemistry of your system. So what kinds of sounds you're exposed to does various things to you or what kinds of sounds you are generating also s produces… does various things to you. Why? One of the first things that you do, if you want to go on spiritual sadhana, first thing is shut up. Because stop uttering all the ugly sounds, just shut up. You just stop talking, so many things about you will change. Simply because you are no more causing the damage by uttering wrong sounds. Swarhi Brahma hai, yahan se shuruat hoti hai. Jo swar hai, wo swam mein ishwar hai, jisko hum English mein sound kahe dein ya kuch kahe dein, sound mein itni shakti hoti ki bridge tod deta hai. Ek bada sara sakht bridge, magar wo malum hana chahe ki iska saa koon sa hai. Is bridge ka swar koon sa hai. Agar wo pata ho, to usko bahut zor se agar wo swar ko lagaya jaya, to bridge crack kar jayega. दो तानपुरे एक तानपुरा मिलाते हैं उसमें दोनों स्वर अगर एक साथ हो गए तो एक तार टूट जाएगा उसके ऊपर रुक नहीं सकते कोई गाने वाला अगर एकदम एक्यूरेसी आ आप हमको पता ही नहीं चलता कि एक्यूरेसी क्या है हम इतने करीब चले जाते हैं फिर भी वो एक्यूरेसी नहीं होती है ये 
उसकी शक्ति को झेल नहीं सकता मतलब ये उसके एकात्मा तक एकात्मकता को झेल नहीं सकता जो ब्रिज तोड़ देता है मेरे पिताजी हम अजमेर में गा रहे थे तो एक 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 स्वर लगाया सा सा जिस भी स्वर से गा रहे थे सा लगाया तो छत फट गई एग्जेशन नहीं है मैं कहता हूँ कि अगर सही सुर लग जाए उस उस छत का वो स्वर था फट गई इसको कहेंगे कि आपके गाने से हो गया उसके गाने से हो गया उसके बजाने से हो गया नहीं वो स्वर की वजह से हुआ द पावर ऑफ द साउंड दैट पंडित जी वो सेंग इज द मॉडर्न साइंस वी आर ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इट ऑफ इज रेजोनेंस इफ द श्रुति इज परफेक्ट ऑन द टू नेचुरली द स्ट्रिंग विल ब्रेक सो जस्ट अबाउट एनी थिंग कैन बी क्रैक्ट विथ योर साउंड just by something like this if two people just do this if it is a perfect match you can bring the building down being in absolute unison can create a certain energy where 1 plus 1 is no more 2 1 plus 1 is a million so classical music when two people sing jugalbandi is never about two people singing together they are always setting a this thing because the musicians who crafted this music are aware or if two musicians are absolutely perfect they could cause damage to the physical structure people may just attain their bodies may break it is possible music is a good vehicle to transport yourself to that last point the whole process that you see in the existence is from non creation to creation from unmanifest to manifest but the other process is also happening today cosmologists have recognized a whole galaxy will collapse into itself and become nothing it will become a black hole it's nothingness and nothingness is recognized as the most powerful space in the existence is the energy which is the basis of the sound because there is energy in this body i can make this sounds isn't it but at the same time sound is the basis of energy on another level it is because of sound that energy has happened when there is no sound there is energy but it is unmanifest it is simply there so today modern nuclear science is explaining this in a certain way you know you can see virtual protons and virtual neutrons being created if you just as much as add energy outside not connected to this chamber if you just play energy around you will see virtual protons get created that means creation is happening in a absolute vacuum space so in a non existence which we are referring to as shiva existence is beginning to happen the first play of energy so we say this is shakti energy is shakti once she begins to play creation begins to happen the first form of creation is always the sound so first there was word and it's both ways see we always try to understand everything logically logic always moves step by step creation does not move step by step there's no point trying to logically put it on a note uh, blackboard and say this 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 how creation happens it's a silly way to go there's only one way if you cave into yourself use whatever you use a you use music sound or a sledgehammer use whatever the hell you want to use but if you just cave in then you know it so the classical indian music to a mathematical precision has recognized which sound can do what and uh, they have evolved these things in such patterns i feel unfortunately there are exponents of music who know it by experience there are certain uh, half baked scientists who know something about the sounds and they know the benefits they measured this and that but there is no one person who is like him at the same time a scientist who can do all those things when that happens it will be good or at least if two people get together like that it will be good where all these things can be explained in modern terminology right now what he does is purely in experiential sense people know it happens but if somebody comes and asks questions how does it happen they don't know they say it's all your rubbish emotion that's all you too identify with your indian nonsense so it happens to you <laughs> it needs to be 
put… put out, somebody needs to work on this, where it is expressed as today's science understandings. Today's science has a very rudimentary expression. Why I say this is, today's science has survived only because of technological devices it has produced. If it does not throw out gadgets, nobody would value this science because it has no life significance of any kind, except for producing conveniences and comforts. So this is a different kind of science. Now, sing… sitting here and singing about Shiva, what will you get? Nothing you'll get, but life will happen. I thought we came here so that life happens to us, not because we get a camera or a cell phone or a, some damn thing. We came here because we want life to happen to us, isn't it? The only reason why a human being is alive here is because he wants life to happen to him. So this is a science of making life happen to you. This is not a science of producing this and that. That also could be done, actually. Using the sounds, that also could be done. But that's not the focus, that's never been the focus of this culture. This is about making life happen in highest level of intensity and beauty. And music is the closest thing to meditativeness that way.